Hi babies and welcome back to my channel, Living a Fairy's Tale. Um, if you guys hear random screaming throughout this vlog, just charge it to the beautiful sounds of summer in Florida. Um, there has been a whole lot of kids and families, their moms, dads, aunts, and uncles just enjoying the pool this season. And I have to say, I actually love it. I don't mind the screams and the laughs. Um, it helps, especially in moments such as this, which if you guys hear me sniffling and all that great stuff, um, yeah. Ugh. But anyway, welcome back to the new and improved Living a Fairy's Tale, or let me say under construction new ish and improving <laughs> Living a Fairy's Tale, something like that. Um, but Give me just a second, I wanna get this camera set up because I don't feel like holding this and we're gonna jump into this combo. Pretty sure I'm on take like 72, but somebody random made up the phrase third time's a charm, right? So I'm currently someone random and I'm gonna make up 72 times as the charm because that's the time I got it right. And I'm assuming the person who made up third times the charm said that because they got it right on the third time. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that because right now, currently, that logic is making me feel better and it's harming no one. So that's what we're gonna rock with. But anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, my babies, the new and improving Living a Fairy's Tale. Like I said, if you hear any screaming or random shouts of joy, charge it to the lovely joys of summer and living in this beautiful Florida weather. These kids are out here living their best lives and I am here for it and I am not here to stop them. Um, so we are just gonna rock with it and let them do their thing. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and share some truth with you guys. Lately, I have been absolutely stressed to the absolute brim, drained out of my mind. I've been drowning under owning and launching two brands, owning and launching two businesses, maintaining my own mental health and sanity cultivating a loving and unconditional and healthy relationship and just being a human being um, and most of the times when I get in these places because I was in this place last summer and I actually side note just shared a little bit about that and a very triggering experience so be aware if you do um, go check this out or be I might share it in here so be aware I guess like trigger warning right now um, about just last summer and what I dealt with and how difficult it was is it take God knows what but here we are and I'm determined to get this out and tell this story um, triggered the album and the artist, um, but triggered the album, saved my life, realistically. Um, I discovered that I, there was a day, that a night rather, where I was ready to end everything. I was ready to commit suicide. I had planned it all out. I thought through how my mother would deal with it. I thought through how my partner at the time would deal with it. I thought through how the friends that I could think of in the moment, literally walking around, with triggered specifically 10,000 playing in my ear over and over and over again I must have listened to that song a hundred times that night and the next thing I knew the Sun was coming up and I had enough strength was however what I did last summer is I went into a cocoon and I just stopped talking I stopped talking to family stopped talking to friends I got off social media I let my brands kind of fall to the wayside and I started to feel those feelings again this summer um, I started to feel those feelings of overwhelming drained wanting to quit not knowing what to do feeling like I couldn't get anything done feeling like I was on a hamster wheel just spinning 
and I decided in honor of mental health, in honor of breaking cycles and just wanting to do something different instead of allowing that cycle to come back around and going back into my cocoon, um, I would do something different and I'm going to this time around live this transformative process out loud. I am going to do my very best to let you guys in to the ins and outs, the anxieties, the ups and downs, the hard days, the bad days, the confusion, the figuring it all out um, because the honest to God truth is I am figuring it all out. Um, so yes, that is this new chapter of living a fairy's tale, figuring it out. And in that, I am figuring out my message and the best way to share it. I am figuring out here when I first started this channel um, and a lot of the videos that I made were right here on this pier um, about maybe nine, 10 months ago. I did it to create a safe space for the silenced. And I'm actually going to link my welcome video up above. You can watch that too if you've never seen it before. That says a lot about the basis and the mission of this channel. Um, but I started it to be a safe space for the silenced, to create an open dialogue for conversations that aren't being had, for people that feel outcast, that can't find their community. And even if it's not my community, I'm open to conversing about it, to having open dialogue so we can start bridging gaps between communities and breaking down barriers and breaking down walls and combating insecurity together, combating fear together. So... Um, yes, I say all that to say if there's anything, any conversation, or even if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, message me personally. You can email me at thegoddessadina at gmail.com and we can, I will find a way, find a person. I will open the dialogue myself. I really just, I want to create safe spaces. Um, so in that, I guess, ha, it's funny how this comes full circle, um, the best way is to focus on creating a safe space for myself first. So this is also me doing that, creating a safe space for myself and knowing that that safety, though transparent, is not fragile, but it is transparent yet indestructible. It is a bulletproof, bulletproof, a bulletproof glass house that I am allowing you all to see into. Um, and it is, and I'm a fairy, so I am going to go ahead and sprinkle my little fairy dust in my spell that says it is permeable to those things that serve, that cultivate, that grow and enhance this space and impenetrable to anything that does not. Um, I don't know if this is appropriate and I may um, have to blank this out or whatever to abide by guidelines, but for those of you that don't know, a woman's vagina will literally only open for semen. Like there is absolutely nothing else. The walls are impenetrable to anything else because that is the only thing that belongs in there. And that is what I'm making my channel. I am making it impenetrable to anything that does not belong in here. And that may be a super duper weird reference now that I'm thinking about it. And I'm slightly judging myself right now for it. So if you are too, it's cool. We can still be friends. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys in on what's happening, share with you guys that I am currently restructuring and rebranding and I want to take you guys along for that journey. I feel like a lot of times as businesses and brands do this and they go underground and restructure and they just come out bigger, better and badder and you're like, whoa, what the heck? Um, I'm going to try to share that journey with you so you can see a little bit of how that's done. One of the first things that I did and that I'm super excited about is I signed up for a business um, and made, like business slash life skills coach. Once I first started entrepreneurship, one of the first things I started to do was study entrepreneurs that I admired or I liked their business or I liked the way they do they did things or I liked the way they lived their lives, something, anything. And one thing that I noticed was every single one of them had a business coach or a mentor. And it has taken me years, but I am finally here. I have taken my step one. I feel like a real entrepreneur. I'm a real, <laughs> I almost went into the whole Peter Pan. I'm a real boy now. But anyways, 
I'm a real entrepreneur now. Gang, gang. I'm super excited about it. Um, so my challenge or my homework was to define words that are super important to me right now. There's a definition and there's a connotation and those are two completely different things and a lot of times the, our connotation which is our understanding of something, the way that we perceive something isn't always the same as the definition of that actual word just because things get lost in translation over time. So my particular words are boundaries and balance. So. My challenge to you today is think of two or three words that you may need in your life right now. Maybe you need some joy or some discipline or love or confidence or motivation or whatever the case may be. Look up those words, really study them, get to the root of the definition, figure out what your definition of is it. <laughs> what your definition of it is and the like Webster dictionary definition of it see if those match and go from there just see where that takes you into yourself how that dives you into yourself to just do some exploring and figuring out what works for you what doesn't work for you how you're helping yourself how you're hurting yourself and what are some great next steps that you can take for yourself so yeah I hope that this helps wherever you are whoever you are whatever you're dealing with you've got it it's okay we are all dealing with something and I love you I'm proud of you and we've got this like that's just it we've got this I've got this you've got this we're gonna figure this out together and even if that means that we never figure it out because maybe that's what it is. Maybe figuring it out means being okay with never figuring it out. I'm going to leave you guys with that. I love you and until next time.